Well, it's kind of like a just a quick look and see what it's going to kind of look like. Um, still got to put make a handle, but it'll be glued, so you have to turn this. And these are holding perfect, not real hard open at all. Magnets in there, wash it right there. It's good. Now I went around the bottom, my little combo square, just marked the center of this all the way down, put four screws in, held the base on to the bottom, or I should say held the supports on by the bottom with these. I made my mark, I drilled it in. And Took my impact driver and I'm just using two inch deck screws. I put four and four. I just want to make sure it stays solid. Sink it in a little bit and that's it. There we go. Now the only thing I want to do, I want to make, I had to get it all set up, measured for these to go in between here, so it's pretty snug. And right there, that's a good fit right there. It's nice and snug. So I actually got to put it on table saw. I'm probably just going to leave it on here. I really don't want to mess with it again. I got to cut it down. Well, I'm actually going to take it off because I'm going to cut it down to here and I got to cut about a half inch on this side so be nice and squared up to the base here well this is what I come up with I'm not going to get crazy you know, I'm overthinking sometimes too much so what what I just did was got that a circle the washer I'm going to use is a circle I'm just going to make a straight line down. So that's going to mount the, about right there. And that's going to be my handle. I think that's good enough for now. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. Handle's on. Pops off. That's not real hard to get off. It pops off pretty easy. But now... Crank that baby! No hitting, doesn't open up. Reach in, grab them tickets. Just finishing up painting this. It's coming out pretty good. I flipped it over. This side's all done. So I gotta get this top. And the outside here. I'm going to do that one here. Let's get these touched up and make sure there ain't nothing else. Let it dry. Then we're going to go in and cut the, uh, going to go in and cut the windows for this while this is drying. This was like 25 bucks. It wasn't cheap. This is the most expensive thing I bought was this plexiglass. But the windows are about 10 and 5 eighths height wise. Width wise are about four and a half. But I think they're all going to be probably cut to fit. So it's going to take a little time. Yeah, it's correct height. It's 10 and 5 eighths. 
And once I get them cut, I can shave it down to probably 10 and a half. That'll give me 16th on either end. So it won't fit so snug and give me a little bit of wiggle room to get it set in properly before I epoxy it in where it'll stay permanently, hopefully for a while. Yeah, so I always got eye protection and I put this on because I don't want to be sniffing that stuff up when I'm cutting. But just a, a little quick side note here. Plexiglass, you don't want to shove it into the blades and chip it and break it. You want to just feed it slowly. And being clear, you can keep an eye on it as it's cutting here. You just feed it in, watching it go, and you can feel if it's grabbing or doing anything. Just take your time and let the blade do the cutting. That's what you pay money for, a good blade. Take this in. Lay it down. Kind of push on it a little bit. I wish I had little, the little clamps to hold the edge. I do it on both of them, let it sit for a little bit, move around. Uh, but I don't, and I don't have anything really to hold them with without marring the, the wood out here. So I'm just going to put them in there. I, I have some weights I may set in there to hold it. Give it a couple minutes and do the next one. Mix my uh, epoxy, which I've never used this stuff before. And I don't know about different brands, but this works r real well on the magnets and stuff. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm good with that for right now. So let me undo this. I'm just going to shoot a little bit at a time because I don't want to waste a lot. That's all I'm going to do. That's good enough right there. Okay. Take this out. And what I'll do, I'll peel off the one side, the plastic protector. Come on, there it goes. I'm going to put this epoxy around the edges of it here. It doesn't matter what you use, I mean, Stick, wood, match stick even works well. But I don't have a lot on the bottom as far as a space, so I gotta be very careful not to put too much on the bottom. So there we go. Put that in there. And I already see it oozed out right here. I don't know what I'm going to do about that, but I'll wipe some off. And that's just going to be a learning lesson, not to stick any on the end. So I'm just going to put it on the sides, not on the ends at all. Okay. 
I should be able to get one more door out of that little bit and I'll make up some more. As I said, I'm not going to put it on the top now because I noticed it oozed out. So I'm just going to go on the sides here. Okay. This one's ready. Now it's starting to take shape. <clears throat> I figured while well, I have to wait at least five minutes or so in between with every window pane while it starts to uh, to set up and dry. I'm going to put on the accessories and stuff so I'm putting on the handle and I put on the hinges it looks good And you should see the hinges. I painted the same as the base. The screws I painted the same color as the tumbler. Handle and even inside screws I painted. So everything's got a little detail, but looking real good. I got two more window panes to put in. And I figured I set it down like that. And I you know I have these weights. So I'm gonna I set these weights in it, give it about five minutes. Or I just check this when it starts getting pretty solid. I'll roll it and do another one. And I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I think I'm going to use my Craig jig and do a pocket hole right here so I can screw into the dowel. I may try to do that, but I want to put it together and see if I can put a screw into that into the dowel. That way it'll hold it to spin around. When I sit here, I figure something out for a while. Because I want to be able to screw into the dowel to keep it to spin around, but yet be able to unscrew it if I need to take it apart or something. So I was checking out my Craig jig. And if you have to take off this part to do like inside cabinets to drill to repair something, you put this little block on and that puts it right at the end. So what I did was put the dowel in there put this right up to it and use this hole and just centered it right there clamped it drilled into it now you see I have this hole there now so when I get this all set up I just get the bit screw right in there that'll screw into the dowel and that will hold this and keep it to spin around so if I ever have to take it apart Unscrew that, everything comes apart. I got everything screwed on so nothing's glued. You can actually take it apart to repair. So that was good. I, I didn't know how I was going to do it, and I figured it out, and I think that's going to work. So when I put it together, I'll get the, my screw, shove it in there, and hopefully it'll be all right, and everything will crank and work just fine. So windows are all, all in. So well, there we go. Right. Basically, the felt, you know, on either end here, I just centered it on there, came around, marked it, took it off, cut the hole out with this little razor so I could kind of go through and cut it, peeled the paper off, stuck it on there. So that worked out great. Then just to make sure on my pet on my uh, dowel there I'm right at 14 inches so I want a little, little extra out here for the handle so I went 14 and 3 8 cut it off drilled a hole I have a washer and another screw like this painted to match this color that's going to go on this end to hold it and so basically I'm just going to put this together we're going to see how this comes out and hopefully my little 
crag jig to do pocket hole will work on this. Uh, I want it this way. There we go. Too bad. So there. So basically, I want where I want this to set is as I'm cranking this. I'm gonna set that about center. I want this on top so we can hold it, reach down into it. So keeping it right there, I'm hoping I can use my pocket hole screw go in there and mount that. And then I'll put the washer and screw on this side, of the same color. Keep that. So if anything ever happens, undo this, that'll slide out, unscrew this, this will come out, these are screwed in. Everything can come apart if something breaks or needs to be repaired. That's the hole I drilled with my Craig pocket jig. So three quarter thick, that means inch and a quarter pocket screw. So hopefully it's going to fit in. Hopefully this is going to work. There you go. It keeps this from spinning. And there we go. So there you have it. Raffle ticket tumbler. I got my idea from Steve over at Woodworking for Mere Mortals. Changed it up a bit, made it a little bit bigger. Uh, added the handle, did some tweaks. And I like the fact that my pocket hole worked for the for the dowel so if anything happens I can unscrew that take it apart fix it whatever um, I left my dowel in all the way I want to make sure it's stable enough because everybody's going to be using it. it's just not me spinning it so two magnets here keeps the door closed accented the hinges and the hardware to match the base screws same color as this, works good. Tumble it, open them up, get the ticket out. So I hope they'll enjoy it. I know it's kind of fun building it. Check the description below. I'll have all the information. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I got this edited down to a nice thing because I had a lot of video. I'm trying to figure out the best shots for you guys. And I want to show you things that I do so you really don't have any questions. You know how I'm doing it, what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. So I know it's a lot of information. My videos are about a half hour a piece, but this takes about eight to ten hours. And like I said, a lot of things I was doing, I had to stop and think about it. So it took a little longer. It probably took me probably about 12 hours total, a couple hours a night, and I did about a few hours on Saturday and you know I got it finished up here it is so mm -hmm. raffle ticket tumbler hey build one for somebody give it away or raffle it off <laughs> be blessed get out there take back your shack get that area get out there build something build it for a family build it for a friend most importantly get out there and build it for your sanity I'm Rick. This is my shack. See you next video.